Hey guys! Alright everybody, we're here today to check out the video that finished in first place, top spot in the Patreon Pull of the Week, and it's none other than the new video, new song, new single from Night Crowned, Nactrunt. Nactrunt. Sounds like a an evil character from... Uh, Transformers. Oh, I was going to go with uh, Avengers. Oh, uh, well... You know, like Nat Krunt came down to Earth and started killing everybody. That damn Nat Krunt. Well, I almost said something else there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a slippery slope, man. Yeah. This is this is a slippery slope. There's a lot of words that will do that to you. I know, I know. There's a lot of words that will get you into hot water. So, are you ready for this? Are you ready to check out this video, this song? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
I'm gonna go first. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I just wanted to say this was one of the best songs I've heard in a long time. Oh, I, that goes without saying. This this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the the songs that has really knocked me off my feet. Like we've obviously in the past couple of weeks we've heard amazing songs, but nothing. I don't like. Oh, this song is just it impacted me different compared to all the other songs we've done in the past month. This has impacted me different. You know what the funny thing about this is that I already have the album for review from the label, but I haven't heard the album because I wanted to, to check, check out this. Out. Oh. But now, the album, I don't think it's coming out until June. How am I supposed to now sit on this until June? I'm, I'm, I know where May is around the corner, but still, like, do, do I listen to it or do I wait for a couple more singles? Like, what do I do now? Like, I have this kind of... This power... Yeah. And with great power well, it comes great responsibility. Exactly. All right. So let, let me address a couple of things. And if you think of something else that I miss, you can bring it in. I, I want to start off by, by, two, by bringing up two pieces. One is that guitar melody kind of reminded me a little bit of Kalma. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Uh, I love but that. It, but it had a little bit of that, that Finnish. It had a little bit of that. Finnish melodic death loved, metal sound. I love that. I love that, that, that beautiful melody. And I was always waiting for it to come back. And whenever it came back, I'm like, okay. But to me, there's only... When I listen to that sound, that specific tone, that specific melody, to me, there's only one band that really delivers that melody, and that is Kalma. When I heard that, the immediately, that band came to my mind. Because you, it's almost like you can pick up any Kalma song and you put it on, you're going to hear something similar to that in terms of the... Not, not similar, like I'm not saying people, they're calling uh, copying each other's riffs. I'm saying in terms of the, the, the sound, the tone, the tone is very similar. So I, I, I want to mention that. That keyboard, that keyboard bridge there, it was just out of this world. For a song that's like, for, for a song that's melting your face and everything around you, almost like from the get-go, to add that, 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 that piece there that just absolutely calms, it's like the calm before the storm. Yeah. It just calms everything down. That keyboard piece there, and I'm glad that was. I mean, you, you can hear keyboards throughout, but that's the part where where that's that's all there is for you to digest is, is that beautiful keyboard. I think it was magnificent, and I was hoping that oh please don't bring it back, don't ruin a good thing, because too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing. Yeah. So except for that, except for that melody. That oh no, melody. that every time the chorus came around and it hit you with that, it was just like orgasmic. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, it was just. Absolutely magnificent. I, I love the sound that it had. I love how it felt. But the keyboard, I want to mention the keyboard because I really like that that almost classic approach to it that it had. It really calmed the song down. It put kind of like a damper on it. Uh, it, it was like a cold compress. Just like if you have a fever trying to bring yeah. your temperature down. But you know that the moment that that is taken away, the, the whole face-melting onslaught will, will just get reignited. Ah, absolutely. Those two moments... That guitar melody and that keyboard, to me, th those were like two of the cornerstones uh, of, of why I enjoy this song so much. Then around that you have, the vocals are phenomenal. You know, I don't, I don't care what he was talking about. I mean, for all that I know, he was talking about werewolves in, in the forest and in the Carpathians. I, I, mean, I could care less. It would have made sense of werewolves in the forest. Beautiful uh, video. Vampires, maybe vampires. That was a castle. Beautiful video. Really nicely done uh, lyric video. The the graphics kind of look almost like a video game style graphics, like Castlevania yeah. style. Gra and I really enjoy that. Really well done. Uh, I also like the movement of the video kind of matched the intensity that the song had. So when the song became more intense, the video kind of picked up movement as when well. The, when Worked the really well. beautiful melody came in, it would be like a top-down view of the floor. More of a scenery. Yeah. More of a scenery. I love the vocals. I, I love the harshness that they have. The speed. Like everything. This song... It's just... It has everything you need. It's one of those songs that you can't walk away from it and completely forget about it. Like, it's a song that oh, stays with you. Uh, that, it just it just stays with everything you. Everything about the song will be stuck in my head. I wanted to listen to it again. Me too. Like, it's so fucking good. And it took me a while. I, I, was, I was vibing with it so much, and I was looking at the lyrics, and I'm like, wait, I can't read these. I, I believe they're in Swedish. Yeah. I, I'm going with that. I, I don't know. Let's go with that, because it took me a while to... Cause the vocal, the vocals, I can't, I couldn't, pay, like, it, just from listening, I couldn't get you know the actual language down, but I was, I was just going with it, and vibing with it, 
And then I think in like the first, it just only took me like around 30 seconds to realize, oh wait, this, I can't read that. No, there's some, there's some changes that the track, the track is not linear. Yeah. There are some changes there. And sometimes it was hard for me to process those changes. It was hard for my, because my brain was moving towards one, one spot. And when it was about to move towards that spot, there was a change going somewhere yeah, else. Was, and then I kind of had to like, kind of jump. But those changes over. were very nice and it didn't feel choppy. To no, me. that's what I was going to say. It was very nice. So I was able to, even though I was going in one way and then it oh, was you felt switch, it too? I, I did feel, uh, even though it was going one way and I, it would switch, I still felt myself not having to stop and, and can, reignite yourself. And reignite the, myself. I just felt myself flowing with the... That's with what I was going to say. I, 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 it, it wasn't done in a way that made the song feel choppy and broken up. It had a nice fluidity to it. And I think one of the reasons for that is the aggression that the track has. The track is moving you forward. The question is, you're not going to move in a straight line forward. You're kind of like zigzagging almost as you're moving. But you're still moving forward. So the great momentum, the great tempo that the track helps helps to smooth that process and the way the song is put together while you can feel them they don't really make you stop like you you're not you're not stopping in your oh. tracks you just you kind of oh okay okay you just okay you just you're just going with it so even though you feel it it doesn't really hurt the playability of the song and it still makes the song feel very dynamic and i think everything that's around it really helps that forward movement that the track has but without a doubt you 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 when you're listening to it you, it's noticeable like you you notice it but some sometimes you songs have it, but it's so noticeable and it's and it's so broken up that it, it it makes you kind of like oh now I kind of have to start all over again from the beginning, and then it happens again it's like oh fuck now I have to start all over again. This one I didn't get that vibe. I just kind of like oh okay like I'm I'm back in it. Oh okay oh I'm I'm back in it. I'm I'm in it. I'm in it. I never left. I'm in it. And once again, I think it, it, it comes down to how the whole song is constructed and the fluidity, this this demolishing snowball effect that the track has. Like it's just like it's gangbusters. It yeah. just doesn't doesn't let go. It's just and that keyboard, that keyboard was just beautiful. The keyboard, the melody, everything. I mean, is there anything about the song that's not good? Well, maybe the fact that our names were not in the special thank you exactly. at the end. I, I think that's the only thing. I think our names should have been in big bold letters. At the end there, but besides that, I mean, there's nothing else. You'd to have do. to pay me to talk bad about these guys, and even even then, I don't think I would. Oh, depending on how much you they're willing to pay me. Yeah, and I, I don't think they would pay me to talk bad about themselves. Exactly. Like, I mean, but if I be... was getting paid, it would be very sarcastic. Like, oh, I, I would say something bad, but very sarcastic in a way that everyone knows I don't mean it. Okay, all right, good to know. So uh, now the question really becomes: Do I start oh, listening to the album? Definitely. Or I guess do you want really. me to put the album on your phone? Uh, oh. Like, uh, there's something's going to have to happen here. You're, and, you're uh, asking stupid questions. Well, I can't. I can't do an album review a month ahead of the release. That's no, just too just, early. You can record it now and then just like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to start uh, working on the pre-record. Because you don't want to torture yourself. Oh, I want to. I want to listen to the rest of it now. Like, I mean, you you can't. You can't show me this and then just oh, and, and knowing that I have the rest and then exactly. just like sit on it. No, this this that's torture. I just have to listen to the whole thing. All right, guys. On that note, this is it for today. Thank you to everybody that voted on Patreon. Made this the number one video. You were asking like, wow, you're surprised that this song made it to number one. Yeah, I was surprised that the other one, um, with, with Wizard the Throne. Yeah, Wizard Throne with the Elstrom guys and everyone. I was surprised that because that it's one... a more popular band. Exactly. Okay. But now I'm super happy that this one was first. Me too. Me too. Uh, you know, once again, sometimes democracy works. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, and in some... this case, the people on Patreon voted for the right song. Yeah. In my opinion. All right, guys. On that note, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See ya. See ya.